Today we're going over one of the air plants that we have here in the store. This is a Talanzia Tropiflora. This one is starting to bloom. It's got a bud right there and they can get up to three of these. It'll get a little bit longer and when they're starting to bloom, the leaves will turn this bright red color, which is really neat. And then once it's in full bloom, each one of these little spaces here open up and there's a little purple flower that pops out. The blooms last about two to three months on them and then you can just cut it off as it, the bloom dies and it'll produce babies from the bottom. I typically just take these and I'll run it under the shower. I'll get the whole top part wet, the whole bottom part wet, and then you wanna turn it upside down and shake it because you don't want water sitting in the bottom of the plant. It will cause it to rot. Now we get asked a lot about how to display air plants because they don't need any dirt and you don't want them sitting in anything where water can collect and it'll sit at the bottom. So we recommend getting some type of macrame hanger that you can put it in or another cool thing is you can get any type of vase. So like this one and you can fill it with what you want at the bottom, some sand, some stones, pebbles, really basically anything. And they'll just sit in there like that. Here's an example of one of them that we have with a zero. We call this like a beach decor. So this has like blue stones, seashells, sand, and some driftwood. These are super easy plants. And one of the nice things about it, if you live in a warmer environment, we have a lot of people down here in Florida that leave for the summer or leave for the winter. You could literally hang this guy outside under a tree and it'll be fine until you get back. The rain, the wind, and the humidity will take care of it.